It's already a good sign. There's gold right there on that Lego mat. So I'm doing this because I have something in my head I want to do with the sluice. And right now I'm just kind of building a concept with Legos because it's like the easiest thing to do and that way I can just test it to see if it actually works and then we can move on from there. The concept is, is that you can place whatever mats you want into your sluice and you can just slide them in, in and out. And that way you can kind of create your own sluice with the mats that you prefer. Today I'm just using the Crux Prospecting mats. I really like these mats. They catch everything from fines to big old gold nuggets. So I'm gonna use this since I have a Crux Prospecting high banker. And I just took the mats because they're easy. They're already in their own little small pieces and I can just play with them as I want into this Lego concept sluice that we have going on. So I already made some quick changes, like I moved this down here a little bit lower. That way the mat will just run off and then I'll have these little slopes. So that way it keeps the mat in, but it can easily slide in and out. But this will also reinforce the two boards that are stuck together. Still trying to figure out how I'm gonna do that. I'm probably just gonna reinforce right here on both sides. So that way it kind of, you know, lifting it in and out, it doesn't bend or break because that would be disappointing. For the most part, we have it all built up. Now I just gotta make the walls higher so that way it directs the water down the sluice, but everything seems to be holding out on pretty good. Made like an own little drop riffle, but we'll see how well that works. It might just plug up material, I don't know. I don't know if it's gonna be able to make it over this lump, but we'll see how it goes. Doing it like this is a much cheaper option than doing some kind of prototyping or even 3D printing because I can just kind of build it with all the Legos that I have and I have a ton of Legos. And that way I can just see if it kind of works and then we can go from there and make tweaks. All right, we might be done here. Look at that. What do you think, Finny? I like it. So I think the walls are high enough. I might add another layer on top, just flat pieces to kind of make sure nothing disconnects, but we kind of got a ramp up, so we'll feed in here. We got places for gold to fall, then I'll ramp up and drop in. Um, we'll see how much flow I need. I, I don't know. That'll be an interesting thing to kind of test and see, and it might not work at all, but we'll see, Finny. I'm excited to try it this weekend. All right, look at that. And we got a nice little V going on here, and then it drops into this first riffle that we're able to pull out with the Crux Prospecting mat, and then the other one. It's gonna be awesome. Let's try it out and get some gold. I got my pelican pick and I got my pan. It's time to go find some dirt. All right, let's pan this out. Oh my gosh, that's heavy. And let's go see if there's any gold in here. So that way I can start filling buckets. Gotta break apart all these clay chunks. And bedrock chunks, actually. All right, so the hole keeps producing. Look at that big chunky piece. So it's time to start collecting buckets of this dirt so we can run it through the Lego sluice. I'm gonna be moving up through this, you see this? And this is where the bedrock is heading. So we're gonna kind of clear all this out, all this uh, overburden right here. Hopefully not drop my bag in. And then that way we'll get down to the bedrock and clay layer sitting on top because that's where the gold will be. All right, this is a hole I dug before. Right behind me is where Joe found the big old giant gold nugget and he is cradling again today. I'm hoping there's a big gold nugget here that got left behind that didn't make it all the way over to his crevice. I'm hoping they migrated throughout the night and now they're like my hole better. So let's get that gold, fill some buckets up and go feed in that Lego sluice because we're here to see if that Lego sluice can catch gold.
truck is heavy. This bucket is heavy, oh my gosh. Now, if you're wondering how do you test the flow of this sluice to make sure you have enough, well, right here. Dun, 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 If your boat tugs along just like that, then you have enough flow. Look ahead, look the stern, look the weather in the lee. Flow high, flow low, and so will sail we. I see a wreck to windward and a lofty ship to thee. So I have good news, you guys. It catches gold. Our first speck is sitting right there in the corner, and actually Nick spotted it because Nick always spots everything. But right there, sitting in the corner, the first piece of gold caught with the Lego sluice. And I'm hoping there's gonna be a lot more in here. Let's keep feeding the bucket and see how much we can get with one bucket from that bedrock spot. Actually quite impressed with how well this is actually working and feeding. I thought the dirt might get held up because I had to build that little ramp up so that way the mat could get caught in. But it, as long as it sits there, it just naturally feeds itself and I can actually feed this pretty quick. So we're getting through the bucket uh, rather, rather quickly. All right, so as I'm feeding my Lego sluice, which it's doing amazing, Nick's over here with a tiny scoop and he spotted a piece of gold instantly. The gold hound is at work again, finding gold. And this is a sun baker, the tiniest sun baker, but it's a sun baker because it's sitting right on the surface. Where are you at? Oh my gosh. Right on the bottom there, but right on the tip of my wow. finger. Wow. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> That's incredible, sitting right on this bedrock in this little crevice area. He plucked it out and that was sitting right in there, perfectly caught in the bowl. Let's see if we can find some more. Nick, that's incredible. Let me see your scoop. Look at that. Fancy little tool. You don't need everything, but it works. And look at that, he plucked it right out. Nick, the gold hound. On the gold. On the gold within literally two seconds of getting here. <laughs> it's so silly, man. I love it. I love it. And it's in the pan. It's in the pan. And this is all he's doing, guys, is he's going around with that tiny little scoop. And he's going to scoop these little pockets everywhere. And just knowing him, he's going to get lots of gold. It's going to be ridiculous. If you have wondered how well these Crux drop ripple mats work, do you see all that activity? I mean, I'm not even having to speed this up and look at that. That dirt is bouncing and moving and, and shaking and baking, baby. So as dirt gets flowing in, the gold's gonna get caught in there and it's gonna kick out everything else, exactly what you want. So we're all on the gold. Sean is killing it right now. Look at this pan, you guys. Look at that. You got one little chunky bit right there, then a whole family of gold right there. Sean, that is some beautiful work, brother. Let's keep digging. <laughs> that is amazing. The bucket's empty. It's time to now clean out this sluice. And luckily, I built this in mind to be able to remove these mats easily. Let's see if it happens. And look at that, one mat removed. What's nice about these mats is you can instantly just flip them, shake and bake a little bit, right into your pan and boom completely clean. It's magic. This one should be easier to remove because I've, I've built a little inlay here, but it is a tight fit. And now I'm just gonna clean this out quickly by just splashing it into the bucket. Now it's time to see how much gold the Lego sluice caught. That thing really works. Lego sluice, you caught gold. Wow. That's impressive actually. I'm super impressed. 
So while I'm getting impressed by my Lego gold over here, Nick the gold hound, who has just been scratching rock with his tiny little shovel, gave out a big old yelping cry and did, oh my gosh, what'd you get, Nick? Holy cow. Holy cow. <laughs> That's insane. We're literally just scraping dirt right there, you guys. Dude. Half a pan worth of scratchings with a tiny shovel. <laughs> 